That was a that, that was a that, that was a three it. year beard. Come on, that was awesome. Well, it's like all. <laughs> Did all, that Daryl clean himself up? Um, I don't know. That's the only I haven't watched the episode either yet. I've Carl been, trim his pubes. Carl doesn't have pubes yet. He's just got. I hate being behind. I, I usually head. watch it every fucking Sunday night, but I've just been issues the past two fucking weeks. Uh, no, for me it's been uh, I had a lot of homework this week. Yeah. I watch Comic Book Men, but... I haven't even watched... See, last season made me really mad at Comic Book Men because you could tell it was super staged. It was wrestling episode of Comic Book Men! Um, Did I miss it? Hank Kazarian and... Um, who's his partner there? Oh, Christopher Daniels? Christopher Daniels were on They wrote a comic book. Did they? Yeah, they made a wrestling comic book and they were trying to sell it to um, them. Did they buy it? Yeah. They paid a buck a comic. Dicks. Yeah. So they made 25 bucks. They sold 25 comic books. And now they're going to charge like 8 bucks for that. Yeah. It was a great episode. It was uh, it was uh, wrestling and Doctor Who. Is Christopher Daniels... Doctor Who! Is Christopher Daniels still bald? Oh, that was that my was... elbow! <laughs> <laughs> is Christopher... Yes, he is. He's, He's still bald. The Hank Azarian looks tiny now. They must not be working out anymore or something. They're not with TNA anymore, right? No, no. They got fired a long time. Or not fired, but they didn't renew their contracts. Samoa Joe's gone. He's, you know, I read something he's just signed with the WWE. He's about to, yeah. Yeah, but he's going to be in the... His last date with ROH is like two days before WrestleMania. Next. He's going to be with Next. They've... See, they weren't sure. When I was reading last night, they said they weren't sure about it. If he was skipping it or not. But personally, to see like Sami Zayn, um, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens... And him. Well, it's not like he hasn't been around for a while. It's well, either Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens went around independence for over twelve years, yeah. and they were like the noted as like the best independent wrestlers. Well, Same T- with TNA isn't an independent. It's a freaking well, no, 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 but uh, their independent's better than TNA. Yeah, ROH is better than TNA. You figure? Well, he's been there since the beginning, so before it went to shit yeah he was there when they first got kurt angle yeah that's when he was um cruiserweight or whatever before yeah. he got fat as shit i i would say they bring him in as a samoan you know the only other you know the person who tried to push for him to get signed when punk got signed right he wanted them him to sign punk and samoa joe as a team because their matches were so good back in the day yeah mick foley he said they said um those are the only two people Mick Foley has ever pushed to sign for WWE, and they only signed one of them. Yeah, I don't know how Samoa Joe would do. I don't, I don't know. You, you know, you see these guys in TNA, and they look big and everything, then they come and you stand them up against the guys in WWE, TV, and, and they're they look not that fucking good. Tiny. They're not that good, but they're tiny. And they can't talk. It was like when um, Taz came from ECW. He was like a monster over in ECW. Then he come, he comes here and he's a fucking tiny man. Oh, he's a to... midget. He's like he's smaller than I am. Yeah. He's only five eight. He's I, I think that's dude. why he didn't last that long as a wrestler in WWE. I think he hurt his didn't he hurt his neck too? Uh, he, he had like his vertebrae fused. He just and... sucked. He may have been good in ECW and had like two moves, but other than that, he was not a wrestler. He, he was the human suplex machine until Brock Lesnar taught him how to suplex. What's with Rhino being down in Nexus? Um, he's one of the trainers now. Is he, or is he they gonna? Well, play? he's wrestling down there, but he's one of the trainers. They want him to uh, like gauge people's talent and stuff. Yeah, I think he'll come up eventually. He'll come up the Brian Kendrick is there. He's also a trainer. Well, they're just bringing in all these fucking people to train. Pretty much. Well, you figure the the off camera trainers are like Billy Gunn, Bill Demott, which I guess that segues nicely into the Bill Demott story. Yeah, I saw the, um, when I was Jeff. watching the Booker T, yeah. was it the Booker T thing? Bill DeMont? No, uh, um, Billy no. Gunn was a trainer, I was, I don't remember yeah. what the hell I was watching. Yeah, it's... Look, when you build a lot story. Um, so a former NXT talent, two years ago, wrote a letter, or wrote an email, it's a real, it's a Male long... or female? Male. Wrote a long, long email um, about how unprofessional Bill DeMott was. He would call wrestlers faggots and um, how dangerous he was. Like, 
there was one guy, or when wrestlers would do an improper slam on like the bag, he'd call over another wrestler and make that person do that slam to a person. And I guess he would like, when Rusev had his neck surgery, he was wearing like a Jet shirt, and Demott doesn't like the Jets, so I guess he called him over and like dragged him by the neck and like ripped the shirt off him and stuff when he wasn't cleared for contact. Just a... He'd, like, try and bust people's lips on you the bottom do, rope. Rusev is a big man. And, and Demott pulled... Well, he was in a neck brace. He yeah. couldn't do anything. Yeah, he's a dick. I, I've always thought he was a dick. And I, past Tough Enoughs, I've seen him. And Oh, yeah. he's a, just even Other in, than the one with Austin, because I think he knows that if, if he wasn't showing the respect that Austin thought the guys yeah. deserved, he would have kicked his ass. Well, the, I... That's the thing about some of those old-time wrestlers. They think because they had to work their asses off to get to where they are that back these, in the old days that these newer kids should have to do the same thing. But, you know what? I, I don't the know. business isn't like that it's, anymore. Yeah, you can't it's not get away like with it. it. It's not like it used to be. And, yeah, you're not going to be able to get away with treating somebody like garbage. Like Hogan's that, first that's time. Fucking, WWE has a fucking bullying campaign. You really gonna fucking bully your well, people? Well, that's why they said that. Um, that dude that I like, that I tweet about all the time, Enzo Amore. Yeah. You haven't watched NXT yet? Still my favorite character. Um, I'm not on tonight. Yeah, it is. I'm not on like right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Or nine o'clock, one of them. Either way. Um, he said he would like personally, like he'd slap the shit out of him and just he was. I'm, without getting into the whole detail of the thing, because it was, like I said, this was, if, in an email, if this were, like, a thing, it probably would have been, like, three or four pages of just stories and complaints about yeah. him, like, uh, telling guys he'd fire them if they sat, or he'd get them fired if they sat out because they were injured and stuff like that. He's a dick. Yeah. And then WWE came out with a statement they're like, oh, we took these claims very seriously and launched a, an investigation. And fucking Chris Jericho supports Bill DeMont. You know what? When I see Chris Jericho at Super Mega Fest, I'm going to go, you're a dick. I fucking hate you. You going to Super Mega Fest? It's undecided. It's just, it's Jericho, ha uh, Hart, and then Walking Dead and... And Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Oh, I'd see, I didn't know Piper was and there. And Maria Kunis, or Maria... Cal Ooh. And I'm buying her Playboy. I would, too. I... Do you sign your vagina, Oh, by please? the way, I just put a bid in for those two Playboys I don't have. It's hers and, um... Who's that other one? I don't know. That we were talking about. Stacy Keebler, Ashley Mazzar. I have her. I have her. Um, you have China. I have China. Tori Wilson. I have Tori Wilson. Layla. Who? I think it's Layla. Uh, um, Christy Hemi. I have Christy Hemi. I think it's Layla's the one you don't have. Come on, you fud stick. All right, let's see. Ah. Really, you fucking cock licker? Wow. <laughs> All right. Mad. Let's see. Anna so. Ferris. <laughs> That's not it. Where the hell is it? There's. Play. That's a Playboy lot. Are you sure that's not it? No, that's not it. I was looking at that one. I'm I'm trying to find her book cheap, but I sent out a. Tell me if you find the Maria one cheap, because I'd like to take that. I didn't know Era Anna Ferris had a Playboy. See, I didn't know either. When did this happen? <laughs> I think because she did that Playboy movie. Oh, is what yeah. I think. Maybe. But now I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, bids or offers. There we go. Hold on a second. That was your wish list. Candace Michelle. Candace Michelle. Oh, you didn't have Candace Michelle? I don't have Candace Michelle. So this guy has these three up there, and he's only asking eight bucks for all three. But I sent an offer. Of, I'm going to cheap bass it. I sent him an offer for six, six dollars for him. Two bucks a piece. But I want this. Do you, if you get these autographed, they're fucking worth a ton. Oh, yeah. I definitely want the Maria one. Just to... 
Well, there's a, there's a shit ton of people selling these on eBay for like young, five bucks. There's a young man just feeding my dick to those pictures on the internet. <laughs> If you're going to go, I'll get an extra one, and you're going to get it autographed. I, I want to. I didn't know she was going to be there. Well, she's going to be there now. Oh, goodness. Are you going to come? I might. <laughs> Fox is going to have one hand on his cock and one hand on his breast. <laughs> Please. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't look at my boner. Yeah. <laughs> I know, uh... That book autographed is going for 80 bucks. Oh, my God. Yeah. With or without sticky pages. That's what I was going to ask him before I bought it. Are the pages stuck together? <laughs> <laughs> How is, what is the condition? Sticky or non-sticky? <laughs> non-sticky. I keep them in plastic when I do it. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, <coughs> have you heard anything about the Brock Lesnar story? No. I so, know, the, I heard know, the whole last, walking out thing. So, yeah, last week he was supposed to be in Raw. Walked, walked out. out. At first, early reports or even B, B was talking about it was they said Roman Reigns failed a drug test and they weren't going to do anything about it. Right. As far as I know, that, that was just a rumor. The new thing... Is him and Vince were going back and forth about a contract yeah. extension. Brock said, okay, but I want to do one UFC fight during this contract. Right. Vince said no. They got into it. Things got really heated, and I guess people had to break up because they thought Vince was going to try and fight him and die. People were worried about Vince Why getting the shit kicked It's not like he him. fucking does anything in between the pay-per-views. Between the big pay-per-views, yeah, he has... You know what? Let him fucking train for a fight. Keep him there and let him train. It keeps him in shape. No shit. Because I, I heard he was um, offered to train CM Punk. Yeah, he, yeah, they can't stop him from doing that. You know what, Vince? Get off your fucking high horse and let him do what he wants. You're That's bringing why... the fucking company down. But they said that he was right on the right on his private plane after that. From what I heard, people saw him at the bar after. Who? Brock. With Vince? No. <laughs> Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. Um, I was heard. I heard that Paul Heyman had a hell of an interview this week, and I Paul fucking Heyman missed it. Did a shoot interview? Shit on the guy that hands the microphones to people. He's like, oh, good, you finally <laughs> did something right for once. The sound guy cut him off three times because they thought he was going to mention something about uh, CM Punk or Brock Lesnar walking out on Raw. Really? Yep. They cut his microphone three times. He was pissed. And there were CM Punk chants all night. That's even awesome. Even before AJ came back. That's awesome. Yeah, you missed AJ. Yes, I did. I'm AJ pissed. looks good. Does she? Oh, I love, I love to meet her. With lesbian sex in the middle of the night. I, I have to get my picture taken with another diva. I have Hello, a since yeah. <laughs> you need you need an updated picture. I my pictures are updated. It's your last one is what's her name? Yeah, it's Ashley. I need an updated diva picture. Well, that's what I'm saying. You need an updated picture with a new diva. Yeah, it's gonna be her. Good. Brandon's like, he doesn't know if he's coming. We'll talk about it this weekend. I'm going to put her in a wedding sack and keep her. Because I may have two extra tickets. If they don't show up. You have extra tickets. Huh? I shall buy one of those tickets off of you. That makes it even easier. Yeah, like I said, I'll buy the fucking tickets and then just give me whatever. Yeah. That's like we up. did for Money in the Bank. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Gonna be there. I'm guessing there's gonna be more divas there. Do you still hate the Bella Twins? Speaking of divas, yes. What do you think of the Hall of Fame? Alundra Blaze, I told you. Yep, and I was just told that uh, it is gonna be Nash because they fucked up and put his picture in uh, some magazine with all the other up Hall of Fame upcoming people. Hall of Famers, and he's in there with it. Is he? Yeah. Nice. Lunder Blaze. Let's see. Did wins the Divas Championship or the women's title. 
walks out and goes to WCW and burns Throws it in the trash. In the trash, yeah. Goes hmm. back to being Medusa. Is, is allowed to be put into the Hall of Fame. 